All right, so I ripped into this chair to see what kind of hardwood we've got. I, right off the bat, I can probably see we have at least four different types of wood. It looks like this might be something similar to poplar. This looks like oak, which would be a couple of good pieces here. Uh, this, I'm not sure what this is. Um, definitely got, yeah, I mean, that, that looks like somebody took part of a pallet and made this chair. Now, at one time, I think this chair was nice, but I mean, this is what you're getting when you buy furniture, like at the main, the big furniture stores. This is what you're getting. But anyway, we're going to start tearing this thing apart and see how much actual usable wood uh, we can get out of something like this. Look at all those nails to keep that in there. That's crazy. That piece I would say is probably not usable. Look at all these nails. And then there's some more nails over there. That's definitely hardwood. Kind of looks like hickory. There's so many staples in this stuff. If I can get these pieces out, uh, I will definitely use those in the future. This looks a lot like poplar. They just put cardboard in your furniture. You can see how they do their joints. Pretty big staples in this wood, and then just kind of run it up there. As a woodworker, that just makes me sick. That 
actually would be a decent piece of wood. particle board on the uh, the front and the back there. So many staples in it. I don't want to do anything with that. Freaking cardboard. Down to one piece of wood. It only has one, two, three, four, five staples in it. It might be good to use except for it's warped. Okay, so <laughs> Can you get wood from furniture that's left on the side of the road? Technically, that's a yes. If it's not actually wood furniture, like a chest of drawers or a hutch, um, is it worth trying to salvage this wood instead of maybe going to even pick up a pallet? I'm gonna have to say no. By the time I go through this wood, try to cut off all the pieces that have staples, and pull out all the staples. There's just not going to be much left. So, as much as I believe no lumber should be left behind, I gotta say this is a bad idea. Don't pick up furniture on the side of the road. Now, if you happen to pick up some slabs, I can show you how to flatten those slabs in this video right here. Just leave this on the side of the road to go to the dump. 